players likely today, Giant Sunspot R1944 has developed a Beta Gamma Delta magnetic field that harbors energy for potent Earth-directed eruptions. NOAA forecasters estimate a 75% chance of M-class flares and a 30% chance of 10 flares on January 5th. Solar Flare Alerts, Text, Voice. CME, possibly incoming, a coronal mass ejection CME might be heading for Earth. The cloud blasted away from the sun during the late hours of January 4 following a long-duration M4-class solar flare from Big Sunspot R1944. SOHO the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory recorded the explosion. The asymmetric CME could deliver a glancing blow to Earth's magnetic field in two or three days, possibly sparking polar geomagnetic storms. No analysts are still processing the CME imagery for a more precise forecast. Watch the movie again. There might be two CMEs in there. After the first cloud from Sunspot R1944 emerged, a second cloud was propelled off the Sun's western limb by departing Sunspot R1936. The mixture of CMEs complicates analysis of this event. Stay tuned for updates. Geomagnetic Storm Alerts, Text, Voice Real-Time Space Weather Photo Gallery Venus, the crescent planet, Venus is turning its night side toward Earth, as it approaches inferior solar conjunction on January 11th. Less than 2% of Venus's sunlit hemisphere is now facing us, which means the planet looks like a razor-thin crescent. If you have a go-to telescope, command it to salute to Venus. It's visible even in broad daylight. Amateur astronomer Stephen Belavia of New York took the picture at noon on January 4 using a Celestron C5 telescope. This is the finest crescent Venus I have ever been able to photograph, he says. Observers who wish to try this for themselves can find Belavia's photo details here. Be careful, though, because Venus is only 11 o from the blinding sun.